Hello and welcome to Resident Tech Forum. Agenda for today is, this is part two for smart license using policy. We are mainly focused on demo. So I'm going to show you uh, when, what is the smart license transport type before SLP, which is before IO 60 17.3.2 and what is changing with smart license policy, using policy. Right. So we are going to work on a, a Cisco ISR device. We will see what is the transport method with pre-SLP releases. Then I'm going to use ENA Center to upgrade that device, bring it to 17.3.3 platform and see what is what has changed. Right. Once we look into that, then we will try to evaluate what are the different options we have? Like we can have a direct connectivity here using transport type smart. We can have a middle box connectivity or satellite connectivity using CSLU, Cisco Smart Licensing Utility. Uh, I have talked about that in part one. And then we will see, can I still use the legacy transport, which is uh, call home? Can, is, does call home work with uh, SLP, obviously, that is not a great idea because uh, call home will be deprecated at some point of time. But I'm just gonna, for demonstration purpose, I'm just going to show you that it can still work. All right, let's hit the demo. I have made some pre recordings to speed up things, and I'm going to speed up the video also a little bit so that uh, we don't. Uh, end up waiting okay so this is the isr box 4331 and here you can see i have this is pre-slp 1612 right so we have a call home as a transport type and this is the call home configuration then we will go ahead and check the licenses you can see smart license is enabled because smart license is enabled after 16.10 it is 16.12 and transport type Focus on transport type, it is call home. My registration is unregistered, evolved, expired. That means this device is not actively talking to CSSM and uh, reporting or registering uh, with the smart, smart licensing, right? So this is the pre-state, we'll make it better. But while we make it better, few things we need to remember that see the eval state is uh, uh, license state is eval authorized. If you remember from my first part of the video, going to SLP, there won't be any eval expired state anymore, right? So we will see what is the new state and how does it impact. Show license summary. This is the output for the show license summary. These are the two licenses I'm using, right? So this is the baselining, this is the pre-state. Let's go ahead and upgrade the product, okay. Uh, before I upgrade the product, I'm just making sure that I have a CSSM connectivity, right. So just applying a couple of lines of command because my device reach out to CSSM using management interface, which is part of VRF. So you need to do some additional configuration with respect to VRF, okay. And this is the default profile which comes with call home cisco tac one profile status you can see active and http address don't worry about that that's tools.cisco.com that that's your call home address right and when i do ns lookup this is the ip address i get and i'm uh, i'm able to ping ping it from my vrf interface right so all connectivity looks good let's hit the dnac well i'm not going into how to do a device upgrade using dnac i'm just going to show uh, show you small snip snippet you upload the software and then use D uh, upload the software to DNAC and then use the DNAC to push and activate the image, right? And here you can see DNAC has upgraded my device. It took like 20, 25 minutes altogether. And now I'm running 17.3.3, uh, which is a SLP release. So let's see what has changed in terms of licensing, right? Okay, 
Shogun license. I, use, I have the same perpetual licenses as, as you have seen uh, before upgrade. Poly, you, now let's see, I have done show license status. So utility didn't change, it's still disabled, but smart licensing using policy enabled. It was enabled before also. What has changed? Look at this, transport type changed to CSLU and it is seeking CSLU address. And policy, policy in use merged from multiple sources. That means it has not received any policy from CSSM. Then uses reporting, last acknowledgement received, none. That means I have not received any acknowledgement from CSSM. Okay, so transport type uh, changes to CSLU if your product has not registered any time before or it was in eval expired state. Trust code install, please take a note. Once the product registered, you get a, a trust code from CSSM. That means you have the trust uh, relationship installed uh, or established with CSSM. All right. If you want to, if you have the middle box CSLU, this is what you have to do. You have to change it as license smart transport type CSLU and then license smart URL. Put the IP address of your CSLU implementation, right? Is the CSLU setting in on-prem? Put that IP address, uh, tag it with uh, V1 API so that it can start reaching the CSLU and CSLU in turn is connected to CSSM. So that is how you can use you know, CSLU. Now what I'm doing, I'm going to show you, can I still use call home with 17.3.3? So I have manually pasted call home configuration, just like what I have had it before, and then change the transport type to call home. So you can see, I made the Cisco tag profile, which was not available. So I had to configure that, and then I changed the transport type to call home, and I said that, reach out to transport type call home tools.cisco.com and I use that auth code uh, which I got from CSSM. And so you can see my device has registered and I got the acknowledgement from CSSM and as a proof you can see trust code is installed. That means it has spoken to or reach out to CSSM, got the acknowledgement and CSSM has acknowledged that yes, you are well and good with your licenses. Now, what we are going to do next, you know, I'm going to uh, change the transport type and start using the new transport type, which is smart. So we have seen two flavors, CSLU, and we have seen another flavor called uh, call home, right? So this is the call home you can see on my screen. So if you have middle box, change the IP address, uh, point it to the IP address and you're good. If you want to use uh, call home, apply the addition configuration and authorize. And here is a snippet of my smart account. You can see the product, same product has reached out so that I can see that on uh, uh, CSSM itself. Now, the final thing what we are going to do is change the license, uh, sorry, change the transport type to smart instead of call home and then register the product again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to deregister uh, de and then change the transport type and then re-register. While I do that, I'll also show you what about enforced licenses, like HSEC licenses, which are export controlled, right? So some licenses are export controlled. You, uh, for that, you need to have some auth uh, authorization uh, between your network element and CSSM. So stay tuned for that. Thank you. Okay, so now what we are going to do here, we are going to reset the smart license because we don't want to use call home transport type. To uh, We used call home earlier and got the trust point installed. We want to get rid of that and use smart uh, transport type. So let me do a factory reset and Please mark, uh, check this command. This is very important command, but this does re require a reload. So uh, it's, a, it's a disruptive command. Now what I'm going to do as I'm removing the trust point from device, I, I'll also go ahead and remove that device, register device from CSSM because we want to do a re-registration using a different transport type. In this case, the new transport type called smart. While device is reloading, Let's go over the command and try to consolidate things, right? What we are using, 
we are using direct connection to smart uh, CSSM. Prerequisite is make sure your license reservation is not enabled. That means this command should not be on device. Because if this command is on device, device thinks that it is offline. It cannot reach to CSSM. Then step one, configure smart transport type, two lines of command. Step two, generate token from smart account. Step three is register, use that token and register the device from device CLI. So option step four and five, they are optional. What step four is doing, it is if you are running any feature which need, uh, need authorization, which is an enforced feature, then you need to perform this. License smart authorization and then enable that love feature. Five is you just have seen, right? If you want to get rid of trust point and go back to factory reset, that's step six is a handy command. If you want to uh, resync, you can use that. Okay, looks like the device is back now. Let's see. Let's do some couple of checks. I did say save config. So that means I have all the configs intact. That means IP HTTP client source interface is there. Show run license. We already have license type configured to smart, but we will again go ahead and configure it one more time. Okay, so just, just for the sake of completion. So we are going to perform step one, two, and three. I don't have any reserve licenses, so I'm going to get uh, let go of step four. All right, show license status. After factory reset, no trust code, right? Earlier you have seen with call home, we had trust code, but now no trust code. So factory reset did work. Smart license, let's configure it as a tra transport type to smart, two lines of command. You really don't need to remember the definite URL. You can say URL default and it will put the right URL, which is smartreceiver.cisco.com and other parameters. So step one done, that's why I marked it green. Step two, I already have a uh, token generated from call home process. I can still reuse it. Okay, and you are, as you can see, product instance, we don't see ISR 4400 uh, there. Okay, now I hit put the auth, auth code, turn monitor on, let's look at the log. I want to, bingo, here you see a new license trust code was successfully installed on my device, that serial number, right? Let's get rid of term monitor so that the logs don't annoy us. And uh, let's, Verify that on CSSM. Okay, my token looks like it's used because earlier it was one of two, now it's two of two. Bingo, product instance, I can see my product there. Perfect. So new transport type smart is working. Product is registered to CSSM. Again, as I mentioned, I'm not going to do option four. If you are using ethic licenses, you must do it otherwise your services may stop working very very important and that's why the license is getting very crucial now let's go over a, this detail command show license tech support it's a huge and very important uh, command because it gives you complete information i haven't seen tech support running on uh, on a regular uh, uh, output like this uh, but now it's available nowadays so you can see transport type is smart my policy information my uses report information different type of license uses what all license i'm using and uh, do they require any reservation are they export controlled uh, all those information you will get it from here okay then what is my upcoming schedule look like when i'm going to report the licenses next okay all those information are here communication status Communication is direct. That means this device is reaching to CSSM directly. One attempt, one success, obviously. And purchase license, if you have any licenses, uh, purchase. But key is reservation info. License reservation is disabled with direct mode. Overall status, this is my overall status and a lot of other information. Take your time, go through 
uh, in the output because you may have something, uh, some feature which required authorization. So please make sure you authorize and report licenses properly for any node disruption in services. So thank you.